The COVID-19 pandemic has dealt a severe blow to museums across the world and many museums fear that they might not survive without financial relief. But in war-torn Yemen, it is a completely different kind of a battle. The country is fighting to save its heritage. More in our next report. Decades of history under one roof. Showcasing items of cultural significance. Museums are the world's window to the past, but they are struggling to survive. According to a new survey, many museums fear they will not last through the course of the pandemic. For more than a century, people have been visiting the Everhart Museum in Scranton in the United States. Not anymore. The last few months have been hard. And it's not just this museum, a new report from the American Alliance of Museums tells us how severe the crisis is. It has found that a third of museums surveyed across the country were not confident that they would survive the next 16 months without some sort of financial relief. But in war-torn Yemen, it is a different kind of a battle. The country is fighting to save its heritage. The National Museum in the Yemeni city of Taiz has two faces. The impact of the war is clearly visible. One side has been beautifully restored to its former grandeur. The other is damaged and crumbling away. Cairo Castle, which is behind me, was bombed by nine long-range missiles, which destroyed the top of the castle in addition to three or four buildings that were located in the same area. Established as an Ottoman palace, then a residence for one of Yemen's last kings, it became a museum in 1967. It has since been bombed and pillaged. The National Museum is packed with rare antiques that are hardly found in any other museum in Yemen. There are antique manuscripts and stone sculptures, swords and rare shields, but they were stolen from the National Museum. We have recovered some of it, but significant pieces are still missing. We have a signed agreement with UNESCO to recover articles smuggled out of the country. There are antiques that are still being auctioned off in America and Europe. The war has massively affected archaeological sites. Yemen's rich cultural heritage has not been spared. During the war, there were many auctions selling stolen Yemeni artifacts. How did these artifacts get out of Yemen? Who's responsible for that? We don't know. What we know is that many of those involved in the smuggling of antiques are officials who were able to take them out or people with authority from the Saudi-led coalition because Yemen is almost a besieged country. How do thousands of artifacts get out of Yemen? Taiz's museum plans to reopen its doors in 2023. It is hoped the conflict would have subsided by then. I'm hoping for a return to a normal life and a state that takes care of antiquities. It's our country's heritage, the cultural face of the country, and it appeals to tourists, which is the main support for the economy. Bureau report, we on World is One.